How's it going everyone? I'm One Hand Mostly, and today we'll be checking out the Survivalist demo that was a part of Steam's Game Festival. I didn't get a chance to check it out, though I still had it downloaded, so we're somehow still able to play it. Don't tell anyone. So we'll be checking out some of the game's features and mechanics from an accessibility standpoint, and providing feedback that way when the game releases, maybe we'll be able to put some of those things in and provide feedback for the devs when the game launches. So let's roll into it. Here in the options menu, we have some accessibility features already implemented. They have colorblind mode, for all three different types of colorblind. Dyslexia assist to enable easier reading with the font if that helps. Background animations, if it makes you dizzy or whatever, or it bothers you. Long counter attack time. You can either have regular or long, I have it on long. And then impact flashes for when you start combat. Enabled or disabled, we'll turn that off. In case that bothers, that's fine. Leave that, okay. Apply. Here are the inputs for the controller. You're not able to change any of them for controller. Here are the keyboard inputs, and let's see if we can change them. Double click, space to select. No, it makes you go to the top. In space. Nope, doesn't work. Okay, it says you can. You should be able to. Maybe there's a bug. Let's play. Yes, I want to see prompts. Where am I? Wait, who am I? Okay, I can change what I look like. Alright. This is good body B. Neat. Twizzle. can change the shirt color. Right click these. Simple items can be crafted in your hand by pressing C. Okay. Let's take all these rocks. Why did it go like five? It did like 10, then five, then two, then one, like splits it. Oh, so it always does half. So it's half. You hold it down. So it does half if you do right click. Transfer, half, 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 in. That's interesting. Half. Need to eat in order to survive. Starvation. To consume food, select it by using comma or period. Then press left click to eat it. Okay. Can I click on these to escape? No, we have to hit escape. This is kind of gross too. Okay, so let's craft something. You can make a hand axe. Success, select the hand axe with comma or period. That's interesting to move those around. Once equipped, you can chop the hand axe by pressing left mouse button. Okay. Wow, that's weird. Okay, go chop something. Chop, 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 chop. Now I pick up everything. Space bar. Interesting. Actually, picking up is actually pretty easy. I can kind of reach it. Break this cage. Your monkey friends can do anything you can do. Assign their role, them roles in monkey management mode by holding Q. See, it needs to be a toggle. Okay. Come on, monkey friend. We need to make hay. Multi tool. Craft the hay. See what happens. Hay wall. Did I get anything for that? No. 
about this. Nope. Mage is just a basic move. We can, we've learned everything we can. In the demo. Oh, crap, it's getting dark. Let's save the game. All right, that'll do it for my accessibility impressions of the survivalist. I was only able to play the demo for about 30 minutes. The not being able to rebind the keys for me makes it really hard for me to reach across the keyboard because you have to use WASD to do the movements. But it looks like it's in and it's implemented, just not working at the time of this demo. So maybe there's a bug in there not saving or maybe I'm doing something wrong in that faction. So um, it looks like it'll be in there for release, which is really good. That'll make this game really easy for me to play. Um, I liked the fact that you could pick up items in an area around you. You don't have to like reach over and pick like one item up at a time. You can like you like kind of vacuum in an area around you. That was really helpful and easy. I think being able to rebind the escape key would be really helpful in the future because the menus going in and out of the menus can make it quite difficult. Or if you press a menu button again, like you press R to open up the blueprint mode or the craft mode. If you press it again, it should be able to close it. Same thing with C, because it functions for M for map, but it doesn't do that for the other menus. So I think that would be really helpful. Also in the monkey mode, you have to hold Q or the input and then assign them a task. I think there should be a toggle. It would make it a lot easier for people to assign different tasks to their monkey. Um, other than that, I think this game is really fun. Uh, I like the pixelated graphics. I like the easiness of the survival mechanics. It didn't seem too difficult. They didn't really get into any combat or anything like that but i'm definitely excited for when this game comes out uh in this year and the game already had some accessibility features implemented already with colorblind mode and dyslexia text as well as the counter attack time and some of the animations and flickering when you're in combat so they definitely have some accessibility implementations already in use and are focusing on that which i think is a great way to help improve this game and provide great uh, player experience so uh, hats off to them for thinking outside the box and thinking uh, with inclusive design in practice. If you want to catch me more talking about accessibility, you can come follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash one hand mostly. I stream most weekends at 1 p.m. CST. So until next time, keep leveling up.